up there guys how are you all doing i hope you're good uh so i know i've not posted in a long time but you know just life i've been busy with some stuff yeah but um i said i was gonna talk about uh getting a police uh, clearance certificate from your home country to yeah canada so i'm from kenya and this applies only to Kenyans. Like, you just have to, for other countries, you have to go to the IRCC website and, uh, you know, look at the requirement for your country. So, yeah, every country has different uh, requirements. So, just go there, type a uh, PCC certificate, police clearance certificate, yeah, and it will ask you your country, you know, so that they can uh, give you your specific requirement for your country so yeah for kenyans when you go there they tell you like you know you have to take your get your fingerprints done you have to go to the police station to get it signed and then you mail it to the dci office headquarters in kenya in kambu road so yeah that's what i did guys i went to somewhere where they take your yeah, fingerprints you know uh got my fingerprints taken which costed me like nine thousand kenyan shillings that's like uh 90 canadian dollars and then i went to the police station signed uh got it signed then to send with the uh you send with either dhl or fedex or whichever company you prefer to send with i don't know so fedex cost uh like between 120 to 140 canadian dollars that's like 12,000 to 14,000 canadian uh, kenyan shillings sorry 12,000 to 14,000 kenyan shillings to send so the total amount of money was close to 300 canadian dollars which is how much in kenyan shillings 30,000 kenyan shillings that's way way more than i would pay if i was back in kenya and yeah you just mail it and then you wait for it to come back to your account it will just like normally when you go to uduma center you just go they take your fingerprint then after some time you'll get it in your account and you can download the form the pdf form you know so yeah that's what i did and yeah that's it guys so but it's I, I would advise you if you're like back in your home country and you're planning to, to travel here, just have it. Don't come with it like uh, a soft copy. You can just have it. Uh, don't come with it as a hard copy. You can come with it as a soft copy in your phone. Then you can print it here. Because um, also at the airport, if you come with your a police clearance certificate, they'll know that you, you're trying to look for work, you know. So just make sure that you take your, you get your fingerprints taken and you apply for it. Then even if it comes after some time, you'll still have it when you're here. Rather than spending like how much money? 30 times of the amount of money you would pay. Because in Kenya, I would have paid like 12, 12 bucks. Yeah, $12 to get it. But I paid 300 so yeah it's costed a lot of money and it's just a certificate like just a police clearance certificate guys like that's way 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 more money uh, to spend on and also like i think if you know someone you can talk to them and they can help you get certif the certificate you know yeah kenyans will understand me <laughs> so yeah i don't know so that's it guys and uh what else nothing else anyways thank you for watching and please subscribe if you've not subscribed